Hello and welcome to SN Evening News Bulletin with me, Clinton Escusa, and here are the top stories. Where is Sidney Naik death case leading? We now know that her vice era sample, which could have given conclusive evidence if the manner of her death was not preserved by Kwa police. A misallegation of lapses in the handling of the 19-year-old drowning death, a new evidence uncovered indicates that the teen made COVID-19 related searches on Google. As multiple teams are looking for teenagers' last moments, footage of CCTV cameras along the coastal stretch of Kalangut as well as Porvorim and Mapsa are being examined by a separate team of investigators. Some of the highlights about Siddhi Naik death case. New turn in Siddhi Naik death case. Why Sarah samples were not taken as the police and doctors prejudged and suspected as suicide. The Goa police after Dismissing the case as suicide, wrote to Forensic Department of GMC asking for protocols they maintained in drowning cases. GMC Forensics Department wrote back citing seven conditions under which Viceras can be preserved. The condition includes a specific request to preserve the samples by the police. Goa police had not specifically asked for Vicera samples to be preserved. Eight days after the murder, the Goa police went searching for CCTV footage near where the body was found. The team's call details, messages, etc. are being scrutinized. However, she left her mobile phone at home and hence her movement from Mapsa bus stand to where her body was found could not be traced. The police have not recovered the CCTV footage of the mall in Polarim where the girl worked in case she met anyone is yet to be recovered. Moving ahead, it was a complete failure on the police and the forensic team not to collect any swab and vice error samples of the deceased Sidney Naik, says expert Vikram Varma. He also spoke on the case where it is heading to. In case the vice error and the swab tests have not been taken, it is a serious hurdle in the matter. Because suppose it is a homicide, a murder, then for the prosecution, these two elements are critical elements uh, to corroborate the sequence of events. And to my mind, the Department of Forensics is very professional. In case they had been briefed that there was suspicion of uh, murder, and these uh, tests would have been done. I mean, I am not saying that is the case. But there is uh, a possibility that narcotics had been provided and uh, uh, resulting in the girl being in a condition where she would not be able to fight back and uh, she could be overpowered easily. But that aspect of narcotics will only be confirmed to a court of law through the uh, vice tests out there. So, but now, now, yeah, go ahead. Being, uh, this being a serious uh, flaw in the investigations, correct. Uh, I'm sure the investigating officers will have other options or some other evidence, right, which would assist the case, which would assist the prosecution. <clears throat> in matters of uh, homicide, right, the state of mind of a police officer has to be very suspicious, <clears throat> highly suspicious. I mean, criminals don't uh, sort of leave strong evidence when they commit a crime like homicide. There are many criminals who are very intelligent, very clever, and they try to hide the evidence so that the death appears to be an uh, accidental death or suicide. I mean, there are numerous cases where criminal minds have proven to be uh, very intelligent, that perhaps a separate department of homicide should be set up, which should be supported by a good forensic team. And these are the this is the kind of team that would be able to get uh, convictions in murder cases. They will be able to do good investigations and be successful and make Goa a crime-free state. But suppose we have people who are not adequately trained. They may be good minds, but they're not adequately trained conducting the initial investigations. Then the chances of prejudgment, the chances of missing out on evidence, the chances of sort of uh, not looking at possible hypotheses and theories 
right, would be high and there would be a prejudgment that the death is an accidental or a suicide death. In this particular case, what it appears to me, I mean, if, uh, as from the perspective of investigation, that if a body is found, <clears throat> which is nude or half nude of a young girl on the seaside, it is cause for suspicion that uh, uh, there is a possibility of homicide out here, firstly. Secondly, a police officer should is empowered to do a proper investigation in terms of collecting of evidence, in terms of making arrests, in terms of recording statements and all that, which could be useful FIR. So the FIR in this particular case under 302 would have empowered the police to go all out into the investigation. Now, such a thing should be registered not on just suspicion, but even the smell of suspicion in matters of homicide. But the prejudgment of uh, the matter without doing a thorough investigations, right, would uh, sort of be treated, uh, would make it be treated as an unnatural death. And uh, some preliminary inquiry would be done, you know, by an officer who has not sort of uh, looked at all the hypotheses and theories, correct? And the matter could be closed. But such a conduct would be a grave injustice, not only to the family, but also to the society at large. If this is a conduct, then people would fear, you know, that their daughters and children may not travel uh, on the streets of Goa or on the beaches and things like that. So we, all of us being part of the criminal justice system have to ensure that such a thing never happens. Our entire conduct should be such that people, you know, children, women, men, old men and women, everybody should be able to walk fearlessly at any time of the day and night, you know, on the streets of Goa or on the beaches. No proper waterways and excess have resulted in floods and blockage in South Goa fields and areas due to the Western Bypass. To find a solution towards the same, a joint meeting was held with officials. Royla Fernandez spoke and highlighted the issues and solution. I'm an NGD petition by Gailal regarding Western Bypass. I'm Kastir Sanjay Diamond on behalf of the children and villagers. Junan Border Pasali. I am August Anela. Then I uh, don't think that email for it because I finally tenny tea meeting get left and I had requested that I may be given an opportunity to present Tenji Mukar. Actually, Gelta Vikan Ami Burgangi on Aspahli to the Goa State Pollution Control Board because all these days for two months there was no action taken. Today they have come here, heard us. Today, uh, Mr. Joglekar was there from the Pollution Control Board. The, our collector, Ms. Katyal, she was also present. We had the environment department representatives there. We had the WRD engineers, executive engineer. We had the PWD NH executive engineers. And the member secretary of the uh, Goa Biodiversity Board. And also who is the member secretary of the Wetlands Authority. I have put forth my case. Even though findings are made I have a report WRD report. I have present the Ironically, the report which, was, which they have used to study the WRD was done during the entire summer. They state that it is done on the average rainfall, but that is all theoretical. We wanted them to come and see when there was actual flooding. Full Mongol, Serawali, Benawali, Sogla floods are lot. In any any ten any point, Karla, ki ML and Sangalamun tinga dredging, kel tenason, desilting, kel tenason, flooding zau nama. I told them that the MLA is on record on the floor of the house in this last assembly session. He stood for a minute to tell that after Mr. Vijay Sardesai spoke that the Western Bypass has to be on stilts. He stood up and said that yes, the people of Benawali, Serawali and Mongol are demanding the Western Bypass on stilts and it's needed. So now what was the final outcome? The final outcome is what they will decide. The first harvest.
Yes, the first harvest feast, was, which is also known as called Sancha Fest, was celebrated in Tarikao on Saturday. This time, the feast was celebrated with a limited number of people. <laughs> पवित्र सभा दिसाचा दो रेका पवित्र सभेचा प्रार्थना वेळी वापरता आणि हे पोरी आम्ही तिची निरंतर दिनवासणी करून जाय म्हणून शिकता तो आमचा परत नवी फळा आणि पीक दिल्या देवाक आम्ही वाकणी Goa will witness moderate rainfall over the next 24 hours, says the IMD. The IMD also said that the dark clouds will move over the talukas of Satari and clouds are, will further approach the talukas of Salset, Kepe, etc. The rain clouds are generally moving towards the east direction. And now we end this bulletin with the cartoon of the day image. Nicole. That's all we have in today's HCN News Bulletin. For more updates, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and HCN Goa. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook at Oharaldo Goa. Until then, goodbye and take care.